All right, uh, first, for everybody that thought I was short, look at me now. Um, first, I want to thank Ms. Dicehart for helping me write my speech, wherever she is. Um, let me begin by first saying congratulations to everyone here from graduating from Reading High School. Uh, I would like to personally thank my parents, sisters, coaches, my girlfriend, and staff members for helping me throughout my four long years of high school. Lastly, a shout out to my closest friends from Southwest Middle School. You should know who you are. <laughs> Tonight, we sit here in the Santander Arena amongst our family and friends graduating from Reading High School. But as a Reading High School student, do you really understand how life is? Perception versus reality is an everlasting struggle between two different lenses for examining life. Reality is the state in which things actually exist. Perception is how the human eye sees these things. In this way, these two perspectives pertain to us. Perceptions of high school students vary from generation to generation. But for us, the so-called Generation Zers is kind of like this. Society often perceives high school students to be friendly and fun. But the Gen Zs beg to differ. Throughout the school, there are many friendships, but earbuds and phones power the individuality in the hallways. People argue over things not worth arguing over. With relationships also comes heartbreak. You can have a girlfriend or boyfriend that you love dearly, become friends with their friends, but suddenly you break up and now you're standing alone. Schoolwork isn't all peaches and cream either, no matter if you're taking core, honors, or AP classes. The reality is this. An increasingly large number of kids suffer from mental issues, from bullying, verbal abuse, and physical abuse in high school. Many students suffer from depression, and some will consider suicide because of outside pressures, such as unwanted responsibilities from family, tradition, or children. Here at Reading High, we bring awareness to these type of things through a nationwide program called Avitum, run by my best friend, Miss Lauren Height, wherever she is. And um, one of my closest friends, Milo Hernandez, passed away at 16 years young due to suicide. Milo was a loving, caring, uplifting friend, and his death deeply affected many RHS students he was close to. His death symbolizes the misconception that high school is easy for kids because it is very hard for all of us to continue living without him. Milo, I love you. Everyone from the outside looking in perceives us as hood, pants hanging low and showing gang signs. My message to those people is, don't judge a book by its cover. The reality is this. RHS is rich with different cultures and families throughout the student body, sharing diversity with each other. We all have different ideas about how to become successful, but different mindsets can still lead to a similar outcome. Perhaps the biggest misconception from the outside is a perception of our circumstances. Living in one of the poorest cities in the nation, shouldering responsibilities that many other high school students might not have to. The reality is this, 85% of our school is Hispanic and full of people of all different backgrounds Every student has his or her own obligations on top of coming to school, whether it's jobs, children, and contributing at home. And in one way or another, we have all made it here to this evening through all the struggles to graduate from high school. We deserve this evening and all the congratulations we have earned. We are commonly perceived as thugs. We all know that look, the evil eye we get when we are asked what school we go to and we reply, red and high. The reality is 77% of all of us sitting here have post-graduation plans to continue on to higher education and are due to pursue them. The remaining percentage will join the workforce with a diploma or join the armed services. All of us are intelligent in more ways than just one and many of our future plans are made with consideration for our circumstances at home. Lastly, we can at times be perceived as unrealistic. We are told that our goals are too big or too broad. The reality is this, no dream or goal is too big or too broad for a red knight. My dad always told me two things that I want everyone to understand. 
First, a goal without a plan is just a dream. And secondly, strive for the moon, because if you stumble and fall, you'll still be amongst the stars. These two quotes have stuck with me throughout my 18 years, and they have always reminded me that all my goals are, are within reach. Sorry. <laughs> and I want all of you, the class of 2019, to also know that your goals are always within reach too. Um, I would like to play something for you all to hear and have in your minds. Mr. Brown? What's, what's up? Got? It's JP, back at it again. But I just wanted to give y'all two quick quotes. Uh, the first one is, strive for the moon, because if you stumble and fall, you'll still be amongst the stars. The second quote is, a goal without a plan is just a dream. Yes, that's me. It wasn't an alter ego, that was just me. <laughs> but the main gist was, so just as my dad told me, I'm now telling you, share these words with your fellow friends and your family. Internalize these words and truly take them to heart. Graduates, it is time to push yourself to places you've never dreamed of. Friends and family, it's time to rejoice in the hard work done and prepare for the hard road ahead. Because once a red night, always a red night. Love, JP.